It might be early in the season, but it's always significant when it's first against second, a game that could have a big say in who eventually wins the title. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. I'm very much ready to bring you the cut and thrust of League Two. It's Bristol Rovers versus United. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And the lineup for the home side. Well, they're playing with a 5 2 3, as we can see it here. But I think at times we'll see one of the centre backs stepping forward into midfield just to make sure they don't get outnumbered in that central area. A look at the starting 11 for United. Gianluigi Buffon begins in goal. Toby Alderweireld plays alongside Nathan Ake in central defence. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. And this confrontation is underway. Good looking move, this. Pretty straightforward in the end. And Grant now. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Oh, in with a chance! And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Well, it's a great chance here, and don't these fans know it. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, his direction was just a little bit off. Well, which team is going to outwit the other today? The hosts have the tightest defence in the league, while their opponents have been the most prolific in front of goal. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. No-nonsense clearance. This looks interesting. Now with De Jong. Takes it on! Well, going for power, and so close to finding the net. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. But options at the back post here. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Now, the situation has changed in one of the other games, I'm hearing. Let's go to Alex Scott. Yeah, it's a goal for Leighton Orient. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied, and they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really, he should have scored from there. That's a... And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, we can see it here again, and it starts with a wonderful delivery into the box. 
deep corner making it so difficult for those defenders, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Well, Alex was in full flight. Alas, we had to cut her off just moments ago. To confirm, the visitors did find the net in that game. They now lead by one goal to nil. Olivier Giroud. Can he make it count? and looking very comfortable here. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. So 2-0 now. Take it away. He could pick out a teammate. Still could be dangerous. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Well, that was a magnificent save. Just how did he keep that out? That's incredible. Well, couldn't keep it. De Jong. Aaron Connolly. Pedri. Takes the shot. Still alive. Well, threat over for now. Well, Derek, this has been a really good performance, as you can see. They've created numerous chances, they're winning the game comfortably, and they could go on and score more. This could get really embarrassing. Firing is in, and taken cleanly by the goalkeeper. Throw-ins given. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. And intercepts again. Finlay. And back with Grant. Sam Nicholson. Well, a bit of an unforced error, and it's going to be a throw. Well, on the cusp of the half-time interval, and I think it's fair to say they're enjoying this away day. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen? Well, they've played some really good football up to now. In particular, the way they've got it into their front players has been excellent. Oh, oh wait a moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. In it goes! A three-goal cushion, and you truly sense it's a matter of how many. Well, it's a decent goal, but the defenders certainly played their part. Where were they? They were absolutely all over the place. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. an interesting pass 
Well, it looked like it might lead to something very positive indeed, but a useful interception. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Ake. Aaron Connolly. So that is that. The first 45 minutes have come and gone, and it's the visitors on top. Well, we talked about their scoring record at the start of the game, and it's been the same old story today. Far too strong, far too dynamic for their opponents, and clinical when they've had the chances too. I just can't see there being a response, if I'm honest. The second half commences. It was such a one-sided first half. Might it be different this time round? Getting forward. And crossed in the direction of the back post. It is to be a throw-in. with it well there's been a lot of speculation as regards this transfer and whether it would go ahead it's finally been confirmed Stuart well this is probably his last big move so I just hope it works for everybody concerned if he plays well he'll have a massive impact on them is it going to be and just narrowly wide well it's a good effort from that range but I think the keeper had it covered Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Can he put it in? Well, not cleared away completely. Well, such a high degree of difficulty. Not quite in the end. Well, how good was that? It's such a difficult piece of skill, which he made look so easy. That deserved a goal. Nicely timed tackle. Well, lovely work to get past his man. Can he do it? The net is staring him in the face. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. A lopsided contest, 4-0. now it should be well that effort was always going wide he's not going to be best pleased with himself and a substitution in the offing well the situation has changed in one of the other games here's Alex Scott with the news it's a goal for Salford City they're pulled ahead by two with 63 minutes played Alex keeping us right up to date Collins now going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Delivered into the box. Well, the keeper wasn't worried in the slightest.
Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Could cross it in here. Well, the danger is still there. Can they hit on the break? Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw-in. And time for the change now. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Oh, a smart stop. Well, really rifling that one in, and he didn't miss by much. piece of challenging and it might be a goal we're really being spoiled this is attacking football at its finest Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Collins now. Thomas. He made it look simple, really. An alert intervention. Did he really make that save? Chichi Buffon. Delivering it. Good pressure high up the pitch. It's still alive. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. Well, a goal update for us to know about. Let's hear more from Alex Scott. Yeah, another goal for Leighton Orient. It was an early cross into the box and it was a great headed finish. It's now 2-1 with 88 minutes on the clock. Thanks as always, Alex. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Really well played pass. Oh, he's given it away. And so the final whistle here. The visitors come out on top, Stuart. Well, in the end, they just had too much creativity, didn't they? Their combination play was so good today. That's how to break down even the best of defences.